Viewers, what is up? I'm Liquid, and we're on Whiteout on some awesome Call of Duty Ghost, other than the fact that I can't say Ghost is the greatest awesomely thing ever. However, it was a good chem strike. This is actually the gameplay I was going to upload on Team Caliber before I decided that it wasn't the quite the right thing for me at the time. So with that, I'll kind of talk a little bit about that, and of course, where I've been lately, I haven't really been uploading hardly at all, and I'm trying to get back into the YouTube world and the Twitch world. I originally was like, you know what, I'm going to completely quit. And, you know, I'm still in that feeling of that. I don't want to do it, like, full, full time and do it every single day. I'm going to do it whenever I can and basically make videos, especially whenever I can. Now, of course, on Twitch, I'll be streaming a little bit more. It just may not be all Call of Duty because Call of Duty, it just... It's kind of, no matter if it's a new game or not, I'm still completely burnt out of it. So I'm going to be trying Battlefield. I've been playing League of Legends still. So I'll be working on a lot of those things. Now, I'm going to try to play Call of Duty more in a fun sense. Of course, I'll try to get a good gameplay once in a while. But most of it is going to be more of a fun atmosphere. Let's play, kind of just enjoy it with viewers and subs and everything like that. So just try not to stress out. Be myself and play. So, as far as the Team K thing, a lot of people, of course, didn't really know that I even joined. So, I joined Team Caliber about, what, two or three weeks ago, and I left them about two to three days later. Main reason I joined was because, of course, it was a good opportunity. They wanted someone that could help them with videos, streaming, and everything else because, of course, that's what they do. They upload videos and everything else. Well, I decided to join because, of course, it had been good promotion for me. Well, I already have a decent, good... I guess fan base. I'm not like looking to be super mega big. Of course, if that ever happened, that's great, but I really do not need to go through these other avenues to do so. So I ended up leaving mainly because it was nothing to do with the team. The guys are awesome and they're really supportive and really helpful and fun to talk to and all that good stuff. But overall, it was just not a good time for me. I was in the stress point of I really don't want to play Call of Duty that much and that like seriously. And so I left because I really just, I mean, obviously this gameplay I got for the team. And then after that, they're like, you know, all started talking about the double kims and how, you know, hard it is and how much they want to get all these. And I'm like, you know, I haven't even gotten near that. And I really don't want to sit here and try to get that. So, you know, I basically took the executive's decision and said, hey, I really do not want to be, you know, trying to stress myself out even more than I am right now with streaming and everything. So I basically left. And, you know, I mean, of course, there's other factors in as far as I want to be able to, you know, enjoy the game with viewers and not feel like I have so much extra things to do. Same thing with, like, real life things, you know, and friends and people that I talk to on a regular basis. I don't want to neglect all of them because I already neglect them a decent amount anyway. And I try to, you know, do things for everyone. And I try to fit in so much in my schedule along with work. And also, I just have not been looking for, like, you know, full, full jobs that I really need either. So that's kind of a lot of the reason I decided, you know what, team is not right because I would love to, but it just isn't the right timing. I mean, if this was back in college, I'd been all over it. I'd have been at events. I'd have been doing things with them all the time. It's just right now, not the right thing. That's the, I mean, you even know that from not seeing as many videos that I have not been putting out. So that makes a huge difference. And now that the holidays are coming around, I've been pretty much working a little bit more. I'm getting a few more hours every week and then coming up this upcoming week, Friday until the day, the Sunday after Christmas, I will be freaking working every day. But Th uh, but I'm thinking Thanksgiving still, but um, but on Christmas, so I'll be working a ton. So it's really hard to kind of fit, you know, gaming world. I mean, obviously, it's easy to sit down, play one game, two games whenever you're bored, and then get up and go do other things. And that's kind of where I'm at right now in my life is, you know, I can sit down, play, enjoy it, stress relief, go watch a movie, um, go hang out with a friend, go to work, do whatever, go to sleep, and, you know, do all those kind of things. I just do not really, I cannot sit still longer than a couple of hours. Today I streamed the first time in a, like a week or so, and the first time I played Call of Duty in like two weeks, so that was a very big step. I think I streamed for like four hours, and I used to could sit here for 8, 10, 12 hours, no problem, and stream all day, and do the fun stuff, and that was great. And I guess it also, you know, I was playing with one of my friends that I actually went to college with, 
We were sitting there talking on Skype while we were streaming. Of course, I was talking to my viewers, doing everything like that. But it just helped to have, you know, the non-boredom. Like right now on Xbox One, I think Xbox One release kind of really messed it up for me because it's so hard and complicated to get people there. And I'm all about the stress-free life, just play and do it. And it takes so much to invite people and we have to talk through Skype and there's just so many little avenues and also I finally got my control freak in so I'm actually able to play now without having any issues. There's just so many little things. So with that being said, I'm trying to get back into it for a decent amount. Of course, not necessarily every day. Maybe, you know, if everything works out, but right now it's just looking like, you know, a couple times a week and I'm going to try to do it as much as I can and... Of course, I'm going to try to post it on Twitter when I can. That's the hardest thing is when. It's just, you know, it's really weird. I might have to play some other games than necessarily Call of Duty. But, you know, we'll get there. And I just wanted to kind of give you all a heads up of what's going on, what happened with the team situation, where I'm going from here. I'm not disappearing. I'm just not as consistent as I used to be. And mainly because streaming makes a huge difference, especially versus the YouTube world. So YouTube versus streaming completely different than what you actually can do. But anyways, viewers, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Awesome TDM. Hopefully you understand what's going on. And of course, any questions, you always can tweet me up or whatever. I'll try to answer things in the chat or the comments, but it's really hard. But um, especially to catch everything, so always tweet me up or bring it over to, uh, of course, the Twitch channel where we'll be live streaming. But until next time, viewers, I am Liquid, and I'll catch y'all later.